Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're unboxing the iFlyTech AI Note Air today. And it's got a nice little black box. It does come with a stylus. And here we go. I just opened that up nice and gentle. We're going to put that over here. Comes with a nice friendly reminder. We're also going to place that over here in the box. And immediately you're greeted with the device. So... I am going to get this thing out of here. Trust me, it was necessary. There's no tab to pull the device up anymore because it was on the back and I had to remove it because it was leaving residue. But this is the device. Now I apologize for that ring cam right there. There's not much I could do to settle it down, unfortunately. So we're gonna be working at sort of an angle today, which I don't mind. So this is the device. So it has a high precision four in one premium microphone system. Trust me, it does. I've tested this thing. Uh, it has a magnetic clip for the uh, stylus right here. And it has a dynamic bar at the bottom. So uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with it, like swipe to next page and stuff like that. We're gonna just remove this. And I'm gonna put that back in the box. And we'll push this to the side. Now. This is the stylus. Now, getting it out is pretty simple, pull. And then we're greeted with mention of the wobble on the back, which is actually the eraser. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to focus on that, <laughs> but there it is. And the pen just comes right out. I'm gonna remove this part and I'm gonna place it in the box. But there is the stylus. Very light, it's got a button right here and it is very accurate, which is nice. I was able to do a couple drawings with it. I had to unbox this thing twice because the first time that light was in the way and it was problematic. I will be getting new lights, don't worry. Inside this box, we have two things. The manual, see right there. And then we have the USB-A, does USB-C to USB-A cable. And I'll push that out. There it is. I'm not going to bother to take it out because I'm not going to be using it. I have my own cable that I like to use. And I'm going to put this right here. It's all that's in the box, by the way. And I'm going to put that to the side because what we're here for is this little device. Now it's already on. And I'm going to be doing my best to make this video here with this. So we're going to hit start and there we go. We're going to select our country and region. There we go. That's probably a better one. Uh, North America. So click North America and then we click Canada. Hit continue. And we need to enter a, you know, we need to enter Wi-Fi, which is quite annoying because that means I'll have to stop recording to get it done. And, you know, doing that can be quite a pain in the ass. So let's do that. All right. Making sure we're in focus here, which we are. And um, it's hard to get a good angle on this. Because one gives you shadows and the other one gives you that light. So we're going to go with this one. Do not want to use the 24 hour block. I'm not in the military. I don't need it. Someone's going to complain about that. They complain about everything. That's my choice though. And we're going to skip and go straight to tourist mode. It's nice. We're going to set 1999. Done. We're going to set up the fingers, uh, the sensor later and start experiencing your journey. There we go. All right. So next, 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 next. So this thing is pretty cool. And, uh, it's pretty cool for the reason that, you know, you were able to take notes, obviously you're able to do all that cool stuff, but you're also able to record. Now, this is something I find very interesting, the ability to record so, you know, it's recording right now and what it's doing is it's 
translating your audio to text, which is normal for a device. But this, basically, if you're writing a book and you're taking notes, this would be very, very useful for you. And it's very good precision. As you can see, it's doing a very, very good job. Is it going to catch all the very, varies? Yes, it is. So it's doing a very, 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 very good job. Look at that. It's brilliant. So I'm going to hit finish. Okay. And I'm going to show you the smart pen. Because I do want to show you some stuff. Now it says you can circle something. Select handwritten content. After lifting the pen, the function will automatically pop up and drag it and use the pen, which is nice. So you can drag things that you hand write down or up in the smart pen. So draw a star with a single stroke after lifting the pen. Standard shape is automatically generated. This handwritten content is marked as an area automatically added to schedule. That's also pretty cool. Then you could draw a circle for a to-do list. And next to it, you can add stuff you wanted to do. And if you draw a triangle, it's create a title, which is nice. And smart pen use is use the keys in the body of electromonic pen to quickly switch to smart pen. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So if we, um, we say hi, that nothing happens. If we go back here like this, we type. Hi. And then I go here. Okay. Back to the smart pen. I circle it. I can drag it wherever I want to drag it. That's pretty cool. Now, if I want this to be a title. Like that. Add a triangle. Got it. Now it's a title. And then we just do... Again, can we like uh, switch back with this? Yeah, the, the button doesn't exactly work the way that it should. Now this is using a rooted version of Android. It's got a lot of really cool features going on, which is nice. And I will go over those in the review, but this is an e-ink display. Uh, it's not very high refresh rate e-ink e e display. There are high refresh rate e-ink e displays out there. It's a very hard word for me to say. And I've tried gaming on this. It's hilarious. You can do like some. I've played some RuneScape. Uh, I've also watched a bit of Netflix, which hurts the eyes. I just wanted to try some silly things. The audio is actually pretty good from this, by the way. So... Now, here's the thing about this. Um, audiobooks are great. Reading is great. I've not really had any weird issues with it yet, which is nice. It's got good download speed. I maxed it out about 20 megabytes a second, which is nice. So it's not the fastest, but it does have a lot of really cool things. Like usually there's a thing over here, but if you want to like exit this window, there you go, it's gone. You want to open up your other apps you could do so by clicking that button and it mentions about google play so you can actually get google play on this thing if you need to uh but for more apps there's actually i believe apk pure on here so you don't really need it which is nice you can install that there's also libby which is an app for library books and outlook it's your email and you know what most of this stuff is i wish it came with audible that would be nice, but you have to install Audible using APK Pure. So far, this device has been great. I love it. I can't complain about it at all. And I know for most of you, you're going to be like, what's the point? Well, here's the thing. When I'm outlining videos, I have to type. I don't like typing. It hurts my hands. It's annoying. I want to write. I want my writing to get better. This helps me create easy outlines for videos. This helps me with my writing to make it a little bit better. This allows me to read books and I know people are gonna complain, hold the book in your hand. But dude, my backpack is only so big and I don't feel like lugging around five or six books because I can't stay to one book at a time. I have to go back and forth. That's the way my brain works. So this allows me to do that. And I don't wanna to have to whip out my laptop 
to read a book and I don't have a tablet. So this sort of helps with that. And for other things like writing out guides, here we go. I can literally write them out now with my voice. So with this, I can actually do much better content, which I know someone's going to complain about, but think about it. You know, I create a note. I go to record. It opens up a new message. Okay. All right, we're going to be writing a guide for Arch Linux and how to install the yay. First, we're going to head to the GitHub for yay. Y A Y. Good. We can go back and correct that if we need to. But again, it just translates everything for me. So that if I need a script or if I need anything to back me up, it instantly translates everything for you. Like, it will definitely be very, very helpful. I'm not a very neat or precise person, so this might give me some of those abilities. Not only that, but here's the cool part. This thing's got a camera built into it. I haven't showed you the back of the device yet. See the camera up there on the top? Pretty cool. And uh, oh, there's the residue, that thing left. I gotta get rid of that. It's got uh, the ability to scan documents and it's nice. So if I go up here, let's select the camera. There we go, camera kicks in. It's actually not a bad camera at all. So if I had document to scan, Just put that right about there. There's also a flash. But that, you know, that looks good actually. And if I situate this right. There we go. I took a picture. And that picture looks really nice. It's got a lot of detail in it, which is surprising. And I do like it. So that helps in case you want to like add documents into your notes and stuff. You want to take pictures. It works. Do I think a device like this might be not for the average user completely, but I'm not the average user. Most of you aren't. And that's where this comes into play. Now we're going to be talking about the price of this thing when the review comes out. And that is going to be a whole subject because I don't know it. It just doesn't make sense for the price. Up here, there's a USB-C port. It's a nice port. And uh, battery buttons right there. There is no volume rockers on the side. Again, which is a bit uh, disappointing. Especially if I want to end up turning up my volume. Listening to an audiobook, I have to click here and do all that here. But you may be thinking, it's not that bright. And you're right, it's not that bright. It isn't until we go make it bright. So we go to here, brightness, and uh, there you go. Now it's ridiculously bright. This is one of the brightest displays I've seen in a while. It's as bright as my phone gets, which is really cool. And look, we can make it really, really warm. I'm not sure how that's coming across though, so we're going to go down here and do that instead. So I'd like to thank iFlyTech for sending me this video. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I want to be able to do more hardware reviews and stuff like this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Comment. Uh, don't forget to the like button. Subscribe. We do have membership on YouTube. If you want to donate once, you can do so on Ko-Fi. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.